we got divided as teams, teams of four or five, I believe, and Dan and I were on a team together. It is available in a sense. Um, dozer blades are an available attachment for a skid steer. That's where combining structurally the two made more sense, uh, being able to put that load, that stress back through the chassis versus going right up through the loader arm. One of the first challenges we realized was making a dozer that didn't, didn't overload or overstress a skid steer. Um, the, one of the biggest things we realized was trying to get structure tied back into our chassis, um, get the push force that we needed, the push support that we need from the chassis, and still make it fairly easy to couple and uncouple. That's something with a current attachment today. You can drop off a bucket and pick up a blade and go to work. Tying into the chassis and keeping it simple enough to, to go pick up and go to work and not require two or three people to do or a bunch of tools, that was one of the biggest challenges I think we, we noticed right off the bat. We kind of focused more on the simple side. Just let's tie it to the chassis and then the the problem came is how do we control the vertical lift of that because we already have the loader arm there and instead of t adding cylinders or anything we decided that it'd be a good idea to use the loader arm to control the vertical lift so that's where the using the coupler to tie to the c-frame came in so currently we have a coupler that fits on just like a bucket would um, on the end of the loader arm we we have to keep it compatible with attachments that are already in the industry and in the field. It has to be able to go out and pick up anybody's attachments. So, so that, was, that was one challenge we had to, we had to keep that common. We had to make a C-frame receiver, I guess, to fit that pattern. And, uh, and I think, you know, we accomplished that pretty well.